If there is any magic in this world, then in my opinion, that is maths. If you are a maths enthusiast, then this new paper, Kolmogorov, Ornal Networks or CANS in short, must inspire you. In this video, I am going to give you an overview of this awesome paper, which is a bit dense to be honest, but I believe a real interesting read if you are into maths and if you want to understand all of this mumbo jumbo about multilayer perceptrons. Multilayer perceptrons, also known as fully connected feed forward neural networks, are foundational building blocks of today's deep learning models. The importance of these MLPs or multilayer perceptrons can never be overstated since they are the default models in machine learning for approximating non-linear functions due to their expressive power guaranteed by the universal approximation theorem. But are MLPs the best non-linear regressors we can build? Despite the prevalent use of MLPs, they have significant drawbacks. In transformers, for example, MLPs consume almost all non-impeding parameters and are typically less interpretable relative to attention layer without post-analysis tool. That is where this paper presents a real promising alternative to MLPs called Kolmogorov Arnold Network or CANS for short. Now, both of these um, birds, Kolmogorov and Ar Arnold Networks are in the honor of two great late mathematicians. Andre Kolmogorov and Vladimir Arnold. And by the way, CANs are mathematically sound, accurate, and interpretable. Now, going back to what we were discussing around this theorem, as we were saying that while MLPs place fixed activation functions on nodes or neurons, CANs place learnable activations function on edges or weights, in other words. As a result, CANs have no linear weight matrices at all. Instead, each weight parameter is replaced by a learnable ID function parameter as a spline. And you can also see that in this diagram roughly. CANs note simply some incoming signals without applying any non-linearities. One might worry that CANs are hopelessly expensive since each MLP's weight parameter becomes CANs spline function. But fortunately, CANs usually allow much smaller computation graphs than MLP. And they have proven it with a lot of mathematical equations and experiments in this paper. Unsurprisingly, the possibility of using Kolmogorov Arnold representation theorem to build neural networks has been studied. But most work has stuck with the original depth to width representation and did not have the chance to leverage more modern techniques such as backpropagation to train the networks. But this contribution lies in generalizing the original Kolmogorov Arnold representation to arbitrary width and depth, revitalizing and contextualizing it in today's deep learning world, as well as using extensive empirical experiments to highlight its potential role as a foundation model for AI plus science due to its accuracy and interpretability. Now, there are a lot of other things which are happening in this paper. For example, um, this representation say that any continuous function of n variables can be represented as a composition of 2n plus 1 univariate functions. This paper generalizes this to cans of arbitrary widths and depth. A can layer with n in inputs and n out output is defined as a matrix of learnable 1D supplying functions. On various experiments including regression, PDE solving and continual learning, CANs de demonstrate superior accuracy and parameter efficiency compared to MLPs. The, interpret the interpretability of CANs is highlighted through techniques like sparsification, pruning and symbolic simplification of the learned splines. On real-world applications in knot theory and condensed matter physics, CANs are able to uncover known relations and phase transitions in a transparent manner with the potential for scientific discovery through human AI collaboration using the language of CANs. And there is a lot of good things happening in this paper. I will drop the link to this GitHub repo in video description where you can access the paper and a lot of other stuff. 
let me know what do you think i hope that you enjoyed it if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching